I'm humbled and I'm honored. Uh, uh, my wife Connie and I and uh, our ten grandchildren. This is my. <laughs> this is. You now we bring them out one at a time. <laughs> we don't want to empty out the school system or anything like that. Uh, but uh, indeed, uh, much has been said about what, what I've been able to do through uh, the strength of uh, so many uh, that are beside me today. So, so let me let me just take this moment to to tell all of you who came out today in support of us what you've done for me. Uh, you've inspired me, uh, you've kept me balanced and centered uh, during the, this stormy journey which did not begin last year. <laughs> it, is, it is a product of, of a, a lifelong commitment, a lifelong commitment to try to make a, a difference. And so whether it was growing up in the South Bronx, head of my household at age 14, uh, whether it was uh, being homeless at 16, uh, being a teenage father, uh, starting up a medical uh, network, uh, meeting Dr. Fulani uh, in the late 80s, and uh, learning uh, politics at the street level, and, and learning it well. Uh, learning it well because, uh, you know, you are not a product of your registration. Uh, if you practice poli politics, uh, according to the script that is written for you, uh, then you are not representing uh, the people th that vote for you. Yes. Yes. The, the people that, that vote for you, particularly in all of the areas that are represented, whether it's the East Bronx, the West Bronx, the Bronx has always been the Bronx. It's been that gateway community uh, for new immigrants. It's been that, that county uh, that, yes, we have been poor. Uh, but we have the best faith community uh, anywhere in the city and state because you have to be among the poor and the needies to understand God's will and God's work, right? Yes. We have to be among the neediest to understand what that government must be our partner. So the faith community and I and government, we understand uh, that need to coalesce. We understand that need to unite uh, our forces. It's been done in Queens. Uh, Reverend Floyd Flake, it's been done in Brooklyn with Dr. Bernard, it's been done in Harlem with a great lineage of pastors and faith communities. And here in the Bronx also, it's happened and will continue to happen uh, because we need it to happen. Whether you are on substance abuse or, or dealing with uh, alcohol issues, uh, whether you are unemployed or homeless, uh, the church has always been there yeah. with its doors open to any and all. And so when I approach the church, they don't ask me about the latest article written by the New York Post. They, give, they withhold judgment. There is no rush to judgment. They open up the doors and say, you want to speak to the people that have elected you. These are the people that are behind me and surround me. These are the people that have never rushed to judgment. And if they have anything to judge, they start with my body of work. And so I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to be up in Albany and to be bold on your behalf, to be courageous on your behalf, to be independent on your behalf, and to get results on your behalf. Those results are being seen daily, and they're clouded and obfuscated by all the negative campaign only to those who don't want to see, only to those that don't want to give me a chance to be seen and judged. And so again, I thank my friends uh, for coming here. We wanted to end this campaign strong. We wanted to end it with the faith community. We wanted to end with the independent voice of Dr. Falani. And we want to take this weekend and totally dedicate it to getting people to come out and vote. You know, there are all kinds of projections about how many voters will come out. And, and some of these project projections are coming out from people who profess uh, to want to make the Bronx a better place. The truth of the matter is that they don't want anybody to come out and vote. That they want to oppress and depress the vote. So through New York One, through all of our work, through all the assembled media, and through all the assembly faith community, let's tell our folks when they come to church on Saturday and Sunday, and every day between now and Tuesday, to disappoint those pundits and to come out in droves and continue the good work that we have begun as the New York State Majority Leader, the first time in the Bronx history that we have this great opportunity to make government work for all people. 